Hi, Gemini. This is Jeffrey. This is Right Color. This is the reading. Uh, this is your reading for the week of September 19th through the 26th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. Press the bell for notifications. Um, I offer personal readings. I also offer IET, which is a healing modality. All the information is below. It's available on, and I make t-shirts. Uh, I make astrology t-shirts and I also make one of a kind hand painted t-shirts as well as scarves and textiles. Everything is available on my site, ripecolor.com. Um, I'm also open to doing personal one-on-one -on -one readings uh, in person. I'm in Midtown Manhattan. If you're in New York, the New York area, or if you're visiting New York, and uh, come and see my, my YouTube setup, or else to put it, which is my kitchen, <laughs> my living room, which is my art studio. Anyway, I'm open to uh, having people come by. So let's see what's going on for you for this coming week, which is the 19th through the 26th. Something is closing. There's something closing. Something is coming to its uh, fruition. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, being that I said something is coming to its conclusion, its fruition, I think it's a community. I think it's something you've, you've been working on with other people. I think there's something that you've been working on with other people or some sort of community effort or you've been building something or have built something and now it's time to move forward. Um, it's very clear. It's like super clear. The king and the queen. So, uh, yeah, it's time for this to, you know, be cut out to move forward. Okay. <clears throat> With something new. You, you have a new fertile idea, new creativity, new passion. Mm. Yeah, I, I think that the reason that this is moving forward is because it didn't really work out. It was, it was a little bit... It wasn't really a very, uh, I don't think it was very fulfilling. There was something that was hidden. And now you're ready to move into, you know, a much more, um, I don't know, honest, open, uh, caring, um, equal sort of energy as opposed to something that was, I don't know, not, uh, not clear, not so much not clear, but not um, illuminated, not, it was a darkness, there was a certain darkness, there was a certain, um, something didn't, uh, There was an underlying current of something that wasn't um, honest or uh, upfront or like, that's the way it feels. You're an entrepreneur, you know how to move forward. You know how to move forward. You know how to get what you want, right? And how you, you know, and so, you know, you made a, like a Yui or a, a Louis or, a, you know, you made a wrong turn for a while, it's okay. You learned something from it. You know, you learned something from it. So I, I think there's something valuable there. And now you're ready to like be in a, in a much more open, clear, um, communicative. Yeah. Yeah. There, it, it might have actually come to um, like a really unpleasant uh, verbal. It's done. I knew something was going to go close. I was feeling it as I was. Uh, 
shop like that's done. But I mean, the good thing about the world card, so here we are in this, because this card can sometimes be a little dark and you know, it's with the king and the queen, she leaves the past behind. He's like the surgeon, he cuts stuff out, right? You have the heartache card. You have the battle that can't be won, the gossip. You know, it's not, however, you have like new creativity, new passion, working with somebody new, signing a new contract, you know, with somebody who's like loving and healing and kind and, you know, it's all in, in the light. This is in the dark. And um, there's an entrepreneurial spirit to it. There's, a, there's an energy of um, generosity of everyone getting something from it. And the interesting thing about the world is that it's not only the card of endings, it's also the card of the beginning. So it's almost like, you know, these are here, like this is the new energy and this is kind of the old energy. Like that's the way it feels to me, right? And the interest of her, you know, it's really, she, I put her purposely here because I hope you can see everything because she is done with the past. She's done with it. She didn't care anymore. She's done with it. She's ready to move forward. Let's move forward. It's like, okay, let's just move on. Let's move forward. Yeah, you don't have to defend your territory. There's none of that is necessary because you're, you're going into a new, let it be done. It's done, let it be done right? It's done. Let it be done. And just move into something new. Yeah, you got your lesson. You evolve through it. You evolve through it. You evolve through it. And I think part of the evolution in it is sort of understanding it for its oddness. I don't know what the word is. Nefarious. <laughs> there was a nefarious energy to it. So you got that. It's like, okay, mm -mm, mm -mm. no. It's almost like the devil should show up in this reading in a way, right? That's the way it feels. But, you know, all of your energy, all your clarity came through, both the king and the queen came through. So it's like, oh, got out of that one. Whew. It's a lot of that. Yeah, it's time to uh, move forward, have a new awareness, and um, and start something new, some something new that's more um, in tune and aligned with uh, the light. I'll say it. I know it's a little well. That's what came out. That's what came out in the C A R D S. You can spell. That's what I got for you. That was what I got for you. All right, blessings to you. Um, there's a new dawn rising, you know, because it's also now is uh, full moon. So full moon is when things come to a close, right? And one thing comes to a close and something else can open. Anyway, blessings, blessings, blessings. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.